so first full day on Crete and we just took the bus from near Iraklion well we took about two buses from near Iraklion to um, Pariochra on the south west coast and we're staying at a campsite where I first stayed uh, in 1999 my god so that was 12 years ago um, since then I've been here once or twice more and um, yeah nothing's changed this is my setup. I've got my little uh, poncho tarp as a tarp here, some shade, and then I'm going to bivy out here uh, with my homemade bivy bag, which has an inbuilt mosquito net, stuff hanging from trees. Okay, we're just going to go and show you uh, the beach now and go for a swim. Okay, more later. Show you around. Here's some little umbrellas and a beautiful view of the Libyan Sea. Mm, what a nice colour that is. You can see there's hardly anyone here. Yeah. So, that was an E3 beach. Uh, just past um, an E3, uh, which is uh, here, that's where we were yesterday. Then found this other little beach I didn't know existed, a nice sandy beach with a nice uh, cantina. Just had a frappy there. And then walk along the coast and then uh, have to walk a little bit up uh, into the mountains because of, uh, yeah, this promontory here. Okay, so let's get going. So we're maybe about an hour after the first video and uh, we've just been uh, hugging the coast all the way along come to this lovely little cove and now we're going to start climbing a little bit and going inland. I'm standing in on a hillside which is just a wash with wild It has a purple uh, colour everywhere here and wouldn't be surprised if there were some beehives somewhere near here. They make very good honey. Uh, let's smell. So a bit further on now and we're at a little plateau with some goats. The owners of the goat I think they're taking some away to slaughter. And there is a goat. There's a goat, goat fun here on a plateau in Western Crete. Ah, there's another one on top of the car again. Very beautiful. Okay, so we go around here. So we've now uh, descended from the plateau with the goats and we're standing above uh, Lysos, which is an ancient site. And let's go down and see what it has to offer. So here we are at the famous uh, Lysos uh, mosaic in the, uh, the temple of Asclepion, uh, which was a healing temple. And um, the, the idea was if you were ill, you would come here, you would give a little offering, and uh, you would get some treatment, so to speak. Um, so this was discovered by Nicholas Platon, I believe, in the, well, 70s, I think it was. Um, and it was completely covered by rubble because uh, apparently there was an earthquake which uh, loosened some huge rocks and which tumbled down and crushed the temple uh, but also preserved the statues inside. Very interesting. Uh, moving around here you can see a lovely uh, Hellenic inscription here on the and some fallen uh, masonry. This looks like the... Um, oh, I've forgotten the word, but it's the top part of the temple and some pillars. So, so here we are inside a little church at the ancient site of Lysos. Um, and I don't know how old these frescoes are, but I think they are, they go back to uh, at least, say, 150 years. Because here you can see that uh, 
the, I guess this is the, I don't know who this is, a saint of some sort, or um, maybe Christ himself, the eyes have been scratched out, which means, I believe, that it happened during the Turkish occupation, the, uh, the, um, uh, the Turks being Muslims, they scratched out the eyes of uh, saints, for example. So, quite an old church, this. So just the last part of this walk, the uh, approach to Suya is through this gorge. Looking up you can see the two rock walls and you have, uh, well, some foliage in the stream um, bed. Of course it's, it's dry because it probably hasn't rained in weeks and weeks and weeks. So, just down this gorge and then we're in Suya. So, we're now at the, uh, I guess, the clothing option at the far end of the beach at Suya. And uh, this is where we'd like to come, uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after tomorrow. Uh, it would be the third time I've camped here nice place, nice atmosphere, great alternative uh, and uh, there's a beautiful a little place to camp in these rocks which, um, yeah, these rocks here, nice place to camp, hopefully we'll find a nice place. So I'm just going to have a quick dip and then I'm going to walk back I think. <clears throat> okay so it's quarter past nine and we're just having something to eat on the beach. A little private picnic and uh, you can't really see the colours with this but maybe you can see the moon which is just there yes you can uh, full moon tonight over the sea and it's very warm there's a warm breeze blowing uh, there is the town just over there and there's no one on this beach perhaps it's a pebble beach but still there's no one here just here by myself having some um, tin fish, some olives, um, some Paxamadia there, and some Cretan wine, and enjoying the views. So here we are on the beach looking at the full moon on the Libyan Sea and it is awesome. There are some people just come to my left that you can't see them because of the darkness. Oh, 